hip-hop is a genre of music that's taken many forms over the years. Today, I want to focus on a new style of hip-hop called info rap. It's how socially conscious artist and rising hip-hop star Kale Sampson describes his music. The Canadian musician is using his talents to draw attention to society's flaws by inviting people to question authority and think critically. I first noticed Kale in a viral video when he was rapping a cappella to an audience of hundreds, if not thousands, that occupied Toronto. So I invited Kale to the studio to perform some songs off his latest album, The Big Picture. His first song is called Reach Up. Kale, awesome performance. Thank you so much for, for that. Um, you describe yourself as kind of an in, info rapper. What is info rap? Um, info rap is sort of a moniker I use to describe my style of hip hop and essentially what it is is information oriented. My songs are kind of like essays, you know, and they're sort of delivered in rhyme form and they're based on a lot of research and analysis. I try to fact check and cross reference all of my information and I use it to um, present to the public through the popular culture medium of hip hop. So you have info rap and they're a little bit distinctive um, in terms of the song format is not really typical like uh, I've got a song called the money song which is eight minutes long and sometimes when you're dealing with this type of heavy information um, you know you can't just all condense it into a two and a half minute traditional song so like whole history lessons about these concepts I guess and, so and why did you choose hip-hop to display uh, messages about these deeper political issues um, okay, well, I was initially introduced to hip hop at a very young age. I was about nine years old. And fortunately, the, um, my initial influences were political and socially conscious MCs like Chuck D from Public Enemy and KRS. And um, at a very early age, I realized hip hop's ability to bridge people and bridge cultures together. And uh, so I've always had sort of a, um, a positive message ever since I was young, since I first started. And uh, it sort of took on a bit of a political slant after 9-11 happened back in 2001. Uh, I wrote a song called The Facts of War. And when I was doing my research for that song, I started uncovering a lot of information um, that I wasn't expecting to find that didn't quite fit with the official stories, so to speak. And I realized when I tried to talk to my friends or other people about this stuff, um, it was harder for them to absorb it just in conversation or if I give them a book. But I realized if I put music behind it and wrapped it and you know added some flair, then the message that I was trying to communicate was much more well received. So hip hop is just a very effective medium for me to use right now to get this information out there. Awesome. And, and you know, you've risen in the ranks of, of Canadian hip hop and, and you've been called um, on multiple publications, you know, rising star in Canada. How does it feel to you as a Canadian, you know, looking at kind of your sister neighbor country, being this global hegemon, kind of this imperialistic force of just military aggression in the world? Because I know that a lot of your lyrics are actually about America policy and American policy and kind of this, this militarism that we're seeing and class struggles that kind of stem from the U.S. How do you right. reconcile that? Um, well, uh, the you know Canada is a smaller, like you said, a, a small, the sister country of the U.S. You know, we only have 30 million people, but yet we're next door neighbors with this powerhouse whose policies are affecting the world on an international level. And when I was first starting writing my album and doing uh, writing about political issues, I didn't really. Uh, I think it was the best idea for me to focus specifically on Canadian politics um, because the U.S., um, their policies affect the world. They have an international reach that affects us all. So I kind of uh, just, that's why I choose to focus more so on U.S. as opposed to just Canadian-centric policies uh, that would probably only appeal to a Canadian population. I'm trying to talk about global issues that affect humanity as a whole. So it's um, unfortunate, but I have to focus in on U.S politics specifically. Right, of course it bleeds into yeah. a lot, like you said, the media culture, the political establishment in Canada. I mean, a lot right. of it is influenced by this country. Um, your song Reach Up is really awesome. Thanks for performing. It's on your album called The Bigger Picture. Kale, what is the bigger picture to you? Um, well, the big picture to me right now, if uh, not to sound too esoteric, but um, basically I think that there's a conscious revolution that's happening right now. There's so many different issues that are affecting us all. And um, when I think about being conscious, I think about um, breaking free of the insular 
sort of narrow-minded, self-centered mind state that so many of us are imprisoned by, and just recognizing the connections that we all share with one another, and getting a bigger picture perspective of how you know, we're all interrelated, not just with one another, but with the natural world as a whole. And I really feel that there's a conscious revolution or a collective conscious evolution happening right now as more and more people are starting to understand that concept and more and more people are starting to recognize their own agency and their own true potential, which is a great, great thing. I couldn't agree more. We're all one human family living on one organism. It's time to start treating each other that way and respecting life and the planet. Kale, where can people find out more about your work? Uh, people can find out more about my music at my website, klesampson.com. Feel free to add me on Twitter at kale underscore Sampson. Uh, look out for the new album, The Big Picture, on iTunes. And uh, I just want to take a second to encourage everybody out there who is aware of this information to not be afraid to speak out, not be afraid to use whatever creative medium speaks most to you to express yourself artistically, because uh, art really has the power to inspire the masses, and with great art comes the possibility for great change, which I know in the long run we're going to do, but the time is now, and we're all in this together. We all need to be agents of change. Thank you so much, Kale Sampson. Really appreciate you coming out. Thanks, Abby.